Welcome back, trainers. Hope everybody's having a great day. We're going to be taking a look at a very tanky team that is going to consist of Lugia, Azumarill, and Diggersby. So we've been using the Diggersby and Lugia combo with a fighting type for quite some time now. And we've been kind of testing out various other teams. And I want to tell you, it hasn't been the best. All right, it hasn't been great. It's not easy to just throw Lugia onto a team and have it work for you. Uh, although we know it's really good, right? But it's still going to have to be in uh, some sort of unison with its teammates. So uh, we are going to be able to defend ourselves with the Azumarill and with the Diggersby up against Grass types with the Fire Punch on Diggersby and then the Ice Beam on Azumarill. As you can see, we do have Play Rough. I know I forgot to put the IVs on the side for the last PvP video, so I'll go ahead and do that now for these ones. Uh, again, I'll go ahead and talk about how to get Lugia into the Great League. You're going to have to able to get that back when it was in the breakthrough boxes. And then once you are able to get that, then you could have potentially gotten a shiny. And that's how we got these. Somebody else was able to get theirs shiny as well. So we did a mirror trade. Now here is the trick. When you're trading with somebody, you have to be uh, at a low friendship level with them. Good friends. And then potentially the IVs can tank and... There you go. You're going to have to get as low as attack IV as you can. But yeah, we've already talked about that. So anyways, let's go ahead and focus in on these battles here. We're really not in a very good position. Yeah, we're going to go for Earthquake. I just feel like, <laughs> let's just see. Uh, so it did the damage, but they swapped here into their Toxicroak. Unfortunately, we're not able to get to the Earthquake here, but we're going to go ahead and let this go through. We'll be able to survive it and get off this Earthquake. I think they might let this go through here, and they do. Fantastic. But we're not in the best position because we do have Lugia in the back and Mandibuzz is going to be dark, which is going to be super effective to our Lugia here. So here is the game plan. We're basically going to have to build up to two sky attacks here and hope they don't have enough energy to store it up to go for two dark pulses. Don't think they are going to be able to get to a, another one beyond my shields is what I meant. So we should be able to uh, get to them. So good thing we did store up both of those shields and now we're going to be able to hit double sky attack getting that last shield out of them and then going for another one here folks let's get it lugia is so fun let's go all right so i'm starting to see more people use it let's see that happen uh so later today i am going to be streaming the rocket stops as well as hitting level 46 so make sure you tune into that should be pretty fun i was planning on streaming until we hit level 46 all right uh which is actually going to be midnight because that's going to be my last uh, buddy snapshot that I have to take one more day. We are only 36 um, tasks in, so we still have quite a few to do, but I haven't really been going hard on those at all, so it shouldn't be difficult. Uh, we're going to go around and do rocket stops. I'm not going to do them too hard because we just got done grinding out that level that required us to do quite a few of them, and I'm tired of doing them. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, yeah, but we can maybe potentially get a good Shadow IV, and we'll TM away a few of those as well. If you are not aware and you didn't see my video or the announcements in Pokemon Go, you're going to be able to TM away Frustration on Shadow Pokemon starting today at 4 p.m. until uh, the next day, 4 p.m., so you have 24 hours. Pretty awesome. Let's get it. Uh, anyways, taking a look at this battle here, we're able to take out that Azumarill with the Ice Beam. In comes the Galvantula, getting a little bit of farm on us, but we still have Diggersby with a ton of health, so we don't really have to worry about that. Lunge is going to, you know, do decent damage and, you know, gradually lower our attack, but that's not too big of a deal, to be honest with you here. So going for that Fire Punch and uh, expecting another Lunge, there would be no point to go for a Discharge here. And... See, the uh, Volt Switches are just going to be dealing, dealing pretty much no damage, so we don't have to look out for that at all. Getting that off because there's no more shields. Swapping into our Lugia instantly for whatever it was, and lucky for us, it is going to be a Beedrill, which is going to be part poison, taking super effective damage from the extra sensory as well as the Sky Attack, and they are going to be backing out there because it was obviously over. GG's, moving it into the next battle. We're met with an Alola Marowak. Oh man, this, this you know, you know, <laughs> let's go. I'm telling you guys, I don't know when you're going to start listening, but I think it's time for Fire Blast on those Alola Marowaks. If you were to hit Digger's B with Fire Blast, oh boy, it would take him by surprise and it would uh, alleviate quite a bit of problems there. Um, but then you're going to have to run Fire Blast on Alola Marowak, which is not going to be great up against a lot of other things. Anyways, we're going to be swapping all different ways over here. We have the Obama Snow out here, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our, or we have the Azumarill in here, going for the Ice Beam, getting the first shield out of them. They are farming quite a bit. 
And that is going to actually be troublesome to both Lugia and Diggersby because of the ice and then the grass for the ground for the Diggersby and then the flying for the Lugia. So we have to kind of... I don't think we want to burn all of our shields here. I think we'll use one in... Uh, no, letting that go through. Okay. Oh, we have stored energy in the Diggersby. Going to go ahead and just unload right here. They're letting it go through. We still have two shields left. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Lugia here while we have a bunch of energy on our Diggers B, almost to a Hydro Pump and allowing this uh, Play Rough to go through here, which is going to be doing actually less damage to the Ice Beam, so very nice. And I'm going to be hitting it with the Sky Attack. They still have one shield. We have two. We're going to go ahead and use our first one here. And it is a Hydro Pump and Play Rough Azumarill, which is um, a relief. <laughs> that's a good thing so missing some of the bubbles here all right uh there we go at least we got a shield so that's awesome i knew that i knew they were gonna do that that's why i didn't hit all the bubbles you know and uh probably a play rough yep we're gonna go ahead and shield it up building a little bit of extra energy and then swapping into diggers b to take out the azumarill with earthquake here that that was uh unnecessary i could have just went with sky attack i don't i don't know why i did that <laughs> anyways into the next battle here folks uh met with a bastard oh gosh oh Mwah. beautiful let's go this is like i don't know other than the alola marowak an absolutely beautiful lead here flamethrower it's going to be doing decent damage so they're going to be swapping into their shadow alakazam best buddy best buddy shadow let's go i don't know what uh, best buddy's going to do for it but that's still awesome shadow and as a personal user of the counter alakazam I know that that Shadow Ball is going to be uh, coming in hot, hurting a lot, especially as a Shadow. So we're going to be shielding that up and shielding it up again. They didn't even go for the bait. Maybe they just have Shadow Ball and Counter. And we're going to go ahead and go for that Sky Attack, taking out that Alakazam. They committed two shields to that thing too. And it looks like they want to go in here with their Bastodon and farm us down. But we're going to be able to get to a Hydro Pump. And that Bastodon is going to be loaded on energy, but also pretty low on health. With a Diggersby and an Azumarill in the back, I want to know what they have to see if they're going to be able to turn this around here. Going in with an Azumarill, they're going to be going in with their own Azumarill. And we decided to go ahead and stay in this matchup here because, well, we don't want to take a Hydro Pump or an Ice Beam to the face with the Diggersby. So we'll just go uh, on our merry way with the Azumarill here with the Play Rough. And they have Play Rough as well. It's not a big problem, but it would have been nice if they had Hydro Pump here. So I continue to run the... Uh, Play rough and ice beam. You guys know I was an ice beam and hydro pump guy, but now I've moved to a play rough ice guy. <laughs> All right, and I've loved it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's got to make sure you have coverage up against those steel types or uh, rock types or whatever. Uh, they're going to be taking me out with an ice beam here, which is fine. I wanted to go in with the diggers be and farm. Don't know. Oh, that was a pretty ambitious farm, but they're going to be going in here with their bastodon and going for a flash cannon. Very interesting here, which is going to get stabbed. So, I mean, hey. So I get a little bit nervous here and I just go for the fire punch thinking that they're about to get off an ice beam and it's not enough to KO and I'm, whoa, I'm able to take them out with a quick move. That got me nervous. I thought they were going to hit an ice beam right at that very second into the next match here. We're met with an Azumarill. This is going to be a rough turnaround. Let's see if we can do it. And oh boy, they swap into a Mew when we go into our Azumarill here. And that is, it's not good. That's not good. You're going to have that wild charge, potentially grass knot. More than likely baited with flame charge to raise the attack. They're going straight for a wild charge right out the gate. And we're going to go ahead and shield the next one here. It is a flame charge. So they just raised their attack and also lowered their defense. Let's see if they want to use a shield. And they do. Very interesting strategy here. But it looks like it's going to work for them. Because they're able to farm us down with the Shadow Claw. As well as raising the attack. Sure, their defense is down. But they're loaded on energy. So what does it matter? We're going to bring in our Digger Speed to resist the... Uh, wild Charge, so they're going to be forced to just go with the Flame Charge, still doing a decent amount of damage with that Flame Charge, with the attack being brought up once. Down goes the Mew, in comes their Azumarill, in goes my Lugia, and in comes their Galarian Stunfisk here. All right, so uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let this first Rock Side go through. We can take another one, but it's going to be very close, and they're going to be able to farm us down and have a decent amount of energy. So it's a hard farm, but they'll, they'll be able to do... Actually, I think I might be able to farm them first. Let's see if I actually let it go. We do. We're getting brave. So you have a quick move, but they had some more energy. So at this point, it's like, well, I'm not going to use a shield. We're just going to go ahead here when farm down with Diggers B. Gaining a decent amount of energy with no shields left on their end. This is going to be 
let's see. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. That's a lot of health on the Azumarill. Uh, we do have a shield. We're going to be shielding this one up here, expecting a nice beam, of course. And I don't think Earthquake is going to be enough here, folks. But it was a good attempt. It was a good try. Those leads are really hard to come out of using this specific team here. And yep, they're going to be able to make it to a charge move. We have no more shields and down we go. That's going to be a good game. Moving it into the next battle here. See what we're going to be met with this time. We're starting it off with the Digger Speed the entire time. We're met with another Azumarill. Can we pull ourselves out of this one? Swapping into our own Azumarill. They're going into Victory Bell, which, you know, it's not a, a great situation at all. But I don't mind it because at least we're going to be able to go for Ice Beam, potentially taking them out or getting a shield, which we got a shield. And what we can do here, Digger Speed is going to be weak to it. We got the Fire Punch, but let's just go straight with the uh, Lugia. We're going to do super effective with that extra sensory, getting hit by an acid spray. Now we're resisting grass, but look at the razor leaves with the acid spray on top of that. It almost took a Lugia out. That just shows you the extent on how ridiculous razor leaf is on Shadow Victory Bell. And comes the Bastodon. We're going for a hydro pump and doing good damage. We still have a shield left on our Diggers B here, but it is getting a little bit sweaty. Going for Earthquake and getting it through. They didn't want to shield up the Azumarill. They're holding on to that shield here. And we're going to go ahead and shield this up for sure. We want to preserve this. Now I'm just looking at the clock. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it at this point. Let's see if we can bait them. This is an earthquake. Yeah, that's right. We get that shield. Beautiful last one. So I think we're going to definitely shield this up. Go for an earthquake. And then just pray we're going to be able to pull this off with the um, Bastodon in the back. So the switch clock is up. I just saw the Lugia light up. Down goes the Azumarill. And we're going to swap instantly. Now I could have won this. Maybe. The Asimi swap into Lugia, those few extra quick moves that I could have gotten off with the Digger Speed to get to Earthquake would have happened, but it actually still did happen. We're still able to make it. That was a close one. I swear I thought I was going to lose that, but uh, I actually should have. Technically, if they had Flamethrower, that was their game. Uh, apparently, they just you know had one move. Maybe they just hit that by accident. I don't know, but nonetheless, we were able to win that because they had Stone Edge. So let's go. This team is, you know, it's not like the best team in the world. It's definitely uh, has its weaknesses that it needs to look out for. Bad leads aren't the best either. So it's still fun to run. And I just wanted to bring you some more Lukia battles here, guys. Uh, let's see if we can get a trend going here. Uh, so we are met with a Galvantula and Diggersby again. This is beautiful. <laughs> but the thing about a trend at uh, Lugia is, you, I mean, it's a very exclusive group of people. So... I don't think a trend will happen too much. Maybe the people that have one are going to be able to use them or try them out. But yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> I was going to say, maybe Lugia can bring Lugia back. Maybe Niantic, <laughs> Niantic can bring Lugia back uh, for the box. Wait, what's up with the boxes? Let's talk about that for a second. You guys can look at the battles. Uh, what, 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 what? Why do they keep giving us what we're getting? Like, you know, it's not some of them are not the worst things in the world or anything, but what happened to the legendaries? And there's that thing we can go back to that I like to talk about is where, you you know, you had a job at your work and you had a few tasks that you needed to do. Uh, and you usually would do go above and beyond and do extra things that you need, didn't need to do. And then all of a sudden you stop doing them and everybody at your work's like, you know, upset. Like, why aren't you doing this? Like, hey, that was never my job description. But Niantic, you know, giving us these legendaries at first all the time, all the time, all the time. And now giving us these lesser Pokemon. It's like, well, come on, man. What's... What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Give us some legendaries. Who knows? Yeah, there's that. Went, uh, went off uh, <laughs> went off on the beaten trail there. Anyways, Zoom Rule, able to take out the Galvantula, barely. Holding on to some energy, I do believe. Yep, we're going to... Huh. Yeah, we went for the play rough. I do believe that's a Galarian Stunfisk. Yeah, we just <laughs> thought they might bring the Zoom Rule back in. So they're able to farm us a lot. We have two shields, but I don't know about this. They have about almost two rock slides ready to go here, so that's not going to be great for us. Taking one, we could take another one, but, you know, we still basically, <laughs> we're going to have to get to four, basically, to take us out. So there's a uh, first shield. And at this point, we're just going sky attacks. I mean, we could go hydro pump, but letting that one, why, <laughs> why didn't we shield the Lugia? We get a little, little, little too brave, swapping into a zoom roll. Oh my, I think the Zoom is going to take me down here. I should, you know, no, nope, I needed the shield. And then, yep, we're going to both get KO'd there. But he had a Galarian stun fix still, so I didn't win. Good games. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the last two battles here. This is a 
you know, it's not a good lead, but it could be worse. At least we have Fire Punch, and we're going to be able to get to two of these. Now, to tell you guys what happened where it was skipping, yes, it was skipping. It wasn't allowing me to get all the energy, but somebody said something. I think I already talked about this. If they get an extra Razor Leaf through while I'm getting my charge, that could be a problem, and I can not be able to get two Fire Punches. But we're able to get it there. Fantastic. Going in with the Lugian Farming down. We still have two Shields, and they have one. Going in with the Lolan Marowak. Now, I'm thinking grass in the back is that is that what you have going on back there so if we can get a shield um we will swap into our zoom roll and start farming up energy and we have a shield left all right beautiful we're gonna go ahead and gain just a little bit more energy and go into our zoom roll here they're gonna probably get off a bone club to try to lower our defense before they do retreat and there they go into their own zoom roll all right so that would make sense you know you go a little marowak because of the ghost typing i keep I don't know why I spaced that out. Of course, you know, super effective to the Psychic. So anyways, we are looking pretty good here. Letting that play rough go through. Getting a little brave, but I don't think I need to worry about that. Uh, they're going to be forced to kind of throw their energy. Probably going to get off an Ice Beam, to be honest with you. And we're going to bring it low enough for our Lugia to go in there and farm down to gain enough energy to hit a Hydro Pump onto the Alola Marowak. And we should be looking pretty good. Hitting us with a play rough. Fantastic. They're swapping instantly. All right. So, yeah, we don't need no hydro pump at this point. We're perfectly fine going with the sky attack here. So, hitting us with a bone club, baiting us. That's fine. The azumarill, I don't think, is going to have a charge move ready to go. And we're going to be able to exosensory it down. No, actually, they back out. All right. Fantastic. So, all right. Good game. Moving it into the final battle here, folks. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And. I will be keeping an eye out for that video to reach 3,200 likes, the last video, so we can announce or at least pick the winners and then announce them. All right, uh, into this battle. This is a very interesting matchup. I've never been here before. I did go for the Fire Punch, thinking that they might want a shield, but it looks like they didn't want to. Hitting us with an Acid Spray and swapping into the Shadow Victory Bell, which, okay, here we go again. This thing is just, you know, even Lugia, it doesn't have a hard time, but it, look, we're in the red. We're in the red from Razor Leaves. Just disgusting. So we're going to go straight for the Sky Attack here onto the Mandibuzz. And we have another one ready to go. This is not good at all. But we do have an Azumarill, so not all hope is lost. Uh, the Digger's Bee doesn't want to see that either. So we're just going to go straight into the Azumarill here. Dark Moves not very effective. Flying Moves are not going to do much at all. Aerial Ace, look at that. Not much at all. They're swapping into Muck, and we are looking fantastic here. All right, so we're going to get a shield out of them. Beautiful. We're going to try to bait again. Let's see if we can get another shield. And uh, no, they're holding on to it. Okay. But they, <laughs> they're they going to still actually use it on this Muck here. Watch. Uh, they want to survive for some reason. Maybe they think they're going to be able to farm us down and then hit the Azumarill with poison? I don't know what they're... We still have two shields, so... If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.